I'm here unboxing the Sony A80J 55-inch OLED 4K TV. This is the Bravia XR TV, and I got the 55-inch because I don't have a huge entertainment center, and the model number is XR55A80J. This is the 2021 model TV and is one of the best, most recommended TVs for the PlayStation 5, so I will be able to play the PlayStation 5 at 4K and 120 hertz, which is why I got this TV in the first place. So... Let's go ahead and unbox it, and you see it has legs and adjustable feet, and I'm replacing an older Samsung 55-inch TV with it, which was only a 1080p TV, so I'm looking forward to seeing the huge shift and benefit of 4K. So let me get it out of the box, which I should actually get a second person to help me. It does not recommend one person pull this out of the box and set it up. So the first thing I noticed was that the way the TV sits, the feet were going to be too wide. So fortunately, you could configure the feet three ways to where the legs of the feet go inward instead of straight or outward. So that way I was able to fit it on my entertainment center console. So all you have to do is screw the brackets into the legs and then you just slide them in and they lock in place. And now I'm ready to go and stand the TV on my entertainment center. Now you could see that I have my feet which are towards the center of the TV rather than out to the edges and it fits on my entertainment center which had a top shelf which wasn't as wide and fits perfectly. Now hooking up my PlayStation 5 to the Sony A80J TV, I was surprised it detected my PlayStation 5 and it told me when I selected the 4K HFR device which was the, what the PlayStation 5 detected as. So I selected it and I moved on to the next screen and then it told me that the PlayStation 5 was hooked up to the wrong HDMI port. I had it hooked up to HDMI port 3, but it said it needed to be an HDMI port 4. So it was fascinating that it actually detected and knew it was the PlayStation 5, and I needed to put it in the right HDMI port. After plugging the PlayStation 5 into the right HDMI port, it very quickly recognized it and then showed me a brief preview of the input from the PlayStation 5 asking me to confirm that I saw the image properly. And it confirmed that the current resolution of it was 4K60. So then I completed my setup. I was gonna do the satellite dish later. I was more interested in setting up the PS5 right now. And then it asked how your TV's positioned, whether or not it's on a stand, whether or not it's on a wall mount. Then it wanted to do acoustic auto calibration of the sound in your room. So I allowed it. You go sit where it expects you to be sitting normally watching TV, and then you hit the next button, and this threw my dogs for a loop. As you can see, Pumpkin was really weirded out by the sounds. Both my dogs came running over to see what that sound was with its acoustic volume testing. And it completed, so I quickly registered my TV next. After registering, then I finished deciding if I wanted Samba, and then it was starting to install the apps. Now. Installing the apps, which included Hulu, um, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, and all the various other streaming services, HBO Max, that I had, this took a little while, so I didn't want to show this entire process on video. So let's skip to the end here and start testing the PlayStation 5. So switching over to HDMI 4, which is the PlayStation 5 and the one that it wants it plugged into, now can loot up PlayStation 5, and let's test out a game, shall we? sign in. First thing it wants you to do is adjust your display area. Let's do that. Make sure it fills the TV. All right. Next thing we're going to do is I want you to adjust the HDR. So it wants you to adjust where the brightness is. And with the phone, uh, the phone pointing at the screen, you can't see at all the little tiny um, symbol in the brightness area. But don't worry, I see it. I'm making sure it's barely visible following the instructions. So once I reach that, and I'm ready to click next, and now it wants me to do the equivalent on the dark side. There's that symbol there, and it wants me to again adjust it to where it's barely visible. And then we got there, and then we're ready in our PlayStation 5 screen, where I left it on Netflix when I went to sleep mode, so let me get at Netflix and load up a game. We're going to go ahead and test out Eternal Cylinder on the PlayStation 5, which is a really, really cute game where you play multiple creatures that do various evolutions and solve puzzles. So let's load this up. Let's pump up the volume on the place. Let's pump up the volume on the Sony 
A80J, which is supposed to have a really good speakers for a 4K TV as well. So let's go ahead and play this and see how it looks. Okay, so I just have to say, wow, without doing it justice on the iPhone camera recording the TV, the game just looks amazing. I was playing this game in 1080p on the, my old Samsung this week, and it just pops. It just looks amazing. The level of detail is so much higher. The colors, the vibrancy. The game just looks absolutely amazing at 4K, and right now it's running at 60 hertz. I believe instead of 120 hertz but it just still looks amazing there's no lag whatsoever this tv is just absolutely amazing for my playstation 5 i can't believe how much better my playstation 5 looks on this tv so let me just go confirm and see if i can see any resolution settings here so it looks like it's 40p and 60 hertz but i just it just looks so much better than it did so again, this game that I'm playing is called the Eternal Cylinder on the PlayStation 5. Really, really fun little puzzle game where you have these little creatures and you kind of evolve by eating um, various resources and some of them allow you to evolve and grow different limbs and parts to swim. So the game's premise is this giant kind of molten cylinder that crushes the entire world and you have to kind of like keep stopping it and slowing it down and solve puzzles until you can figure out how you can keep your species alive to not be rolled over. In this case, I am going to deliberately get myself rolled over because I'm done with this demo here, but oh, my guy got crushed. Oh, my other guy crushed. And look at the trees, look at the limbs. The sound is amazing on this TV too. So again, I'm very happy with my initial unboxing and testing of the Sony A80J 4K TV. This thing is amazing.